It's one of Dundee's most loved venues and this month celebrates a major milestone. Almost 20 years before the V&A, the DCA opened its doors and has been one of the city's cultural hubs ever since. To celebrate, a range of events will be held over the next week. Stephen McMenemy has been for a visit. And this is just a, a, a building which is full of excitement, it's full of interest and um, I believe that uh, will intrigue and uh, just excite people. Shortly before he was named Scotland's first First Minister, the late Donald Dewar was in Dundee to open what has become for many the city's cultural hub. 20 years ago this month, the DCA opened its doors to the public. Since then, it's become one of the city's most famous venues for film, art and culture. We've always been delighted that DCA has played such a huge part in people's lives since we very first opened in 1999. And it's been a huge success uh, with massive visitor numbers, uh, with people involved from all over the city. The DCA isn't just about the cinema and showing movies. Upstairs, there are two galleries showing exhibitions throughout the year. And in this print studio, the public can come in and create their own works of art. Before the DCA opened its doors, the building was far from a work of art itself. But although it was derelict, it became a hub for skateboarders and bikers and helped shape the career of a world-famous BMX rider. We were little ruffian kids, um, but really we were just expressing ourselves. So to be back here like 26, 27 years later in the building, that it really did escalate my riding. This building was the, the spot. We, I couldn't ride the way I was today if it wasn't for the, the old factory, the DCA, Dundee. It's a, it's a phenomenal trans transformation that took place and Richard Murphy, uh, the architect, uh, really did a f an incredible job. He took what was a, a shell of a car park and what used to be a, a storage building next door and uh, kept many of the original architectural features uh, but really joined it into the city, joined it to the streets outside, welcomed people in. And the DCA looks certain to continue to welcome people in for many years to come. Stephen McMenemy, STV News.